Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Wait, what? I mean, the only way to get women to learn about being a single mom is not it, is to retract attention and sympathy. As women at our core, what we need and what we desire is definitely attention and adoration. You want to get women to stop doing something, retract the attention they get from it. That's why I say all the time, if you're a single unmarried mom and you're announcing a pregnancy, we need to stop throwing baby showers, stop saying congratulations, stop doing gender reveals, stop leaving hard eyes under her maternity pictures by herself. Stop doing it. I know it sounds crazy. A lot of people like women are having babies for attention. Yes, it's for attention. It is wanting to get the attention of the father, um, wanting to get attention of society, attention for the baby. Absolutely. We stop helping, enabling, and giving women attention for these horrible decisions. I guarantee you that is the only thing that's going to change. Just as long as they keep looking at us as a way to get attention, it's going to keep happening. Hey, listen, attention is the most powerful drug out there for women, and they can never get enough. And really, a lot of times you find out the limps that many of them are willing to go to really don't have, like, a limit. Pretty much do whatever they have to do if it's going to mean you're going to get some attention. Whether they're trying to get attention on social media, whether they're trying to get attention from friends, or whether they're trying to get attention from a man they're dealing with. It's just a matter of, it's attention. That's what they want. And like crack back in the 80s, you'll find out real soon they're willing to do whatever they need to in order to get just another hit of that attention high. I'm really starting to wonder, am I going to be alone forever and if I'm the problem? So I was supposed to hang out with this guy today. He asked what I was doing. I told him I got up early. He's like, bet, me too. Let's basically hang out. The point of this hangout was that we both got off early. So of course, like we can hang out during the daytime. So I get off work, I semi-rush home, I get all ready, get all fresh. We talk, last talked at one. He told me he would text me when he was on his way here. I was like, okay, for sure. <laughs> it is now seven o'clock. Ask me, have I heard from this man? No, I have not. So I asked my friend, like, should I say something or just leave it alone? And she was like, oh, text him and say, hey, I'm home. What are you up to? He knows I'm home. I told him I got off early. We had planned for him to text me when he's on his way. I cannot bring myself to text him that because you know, and I just feel like I am so exhausted with like feeling like I have to pull a man's teeth to just act right. And is it me? Am I not being vulnerable because I don't want to text him? I just feel like, you know, you initiated this. I did not ask you to come see me and to make this plan. You made the plan. So why do I have to be like, I'm home. Like, don't forget about me. And that's where I'm struggling. Like, am I not vulnerable? Is that why I am forever single? Is that why, like, I'm just not, I, I can't. I really don't want to have to force a man to want to do anything. And I feel like me texting him is me like reminding him that I exist when I think that he should just already want to. And this is why I'm like, am I gonna be alone forever? Is it me? Am I the drama? Am I not vulnerable enough because I don't want to do that? Because the old me would have, but I'm like pushing 30. So I'm like, I don't want to do that. Forever alone. What do you guys think? Am I tripping? Or, or like, am I tripping for not wanting to send this text? Please let me know. I don't ever think it's cool to waste people's time by not contacting them and just let them know you're not gonna show, but sounds like this guy probably had a couple options and she was one of them. She just wasn't the top option, which is probably where he was at when he wasn't with her. And really all you can do is chalk that one up to the game. And really this is something that guys kind of go through on a pretty normal basis. It's not right on either side for men to do it to women or women to do it to men, but hey, now she knows how men feel. It's like y'all use the word insecure as some type of coping mechanism for men who actually care about the type of woman that they pursue a relationship with. Oh, you don't want me wearing this? You're so insecure. Oh, you don't want me going out late with my friends to the club at night? You're so insecure within yourself. Sis, that's not insecurity. That's love and protection. That man knows how visual men are. Why would he want his woman to be a target to other men? Why would he want your private area, something that only his eyes are supposed to see, on display for the whole world to see? See, the problem is you want the freedom of acting single all while still being in a relationship 
relationship with someone. You want all the benefits, but expect him to just do everything that you say and just roll with it. You expect him to defend you. You expect him to protect and provide for you. But when he does it in a way that's not how you want, it's a problem. If he didn't love you, he wouldn't set up boundaries for you, sis. If he let you go out and do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear, staying up late all hours of night, he wouldn't give a damn about you, knowing very well the dangers that are out there. What do you hate the most about dating? Men don't put in any effort. No effort. They just expect us to just have everything ready and they have no plan ever. Like buy me flowers. Yes. Buy me coffee. Who in the blue hell are you? Come to my house and bring me coffee and let's go out on a date. It doesn't have to be crazy. Yeah. But just plan something. Yeah. So these guys that you're talking about, have you already slept with them? Yes. Don't you think that maybe you just, you know, gave it up a little bit too easy, so you're just like, why do I have to put in any effort for it? Well, how do we, how do we change that? <laughs> Are you gonna give me some advice? Something is wrong here. So is it that men aren't interested in doing these things, or yes, are yeah. you just, you know, choosing the wrong men? Oh, no, I think, I think... Both. Yeah, both. <laughs> They're lazy. Yeah. Do you like good guys, though? Or do yeah. you want somebody who's gonna treat you... Good guys. Pussy fit. I, she, she's different than me. 50, I don't 50. like the whole treat a woman like and that's the way to get her. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So why do you keep chasing the guys who aren't really chivalrous with you? I don't Preach. know. I don't know. Preach. We needed this wake up call. Why is that a thing? <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. You, when you grow up yeah. in the hood, we can all be gangsters. Right. Yeah. I, right. I, I watch do my whole life. When you grow up in the bricks, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. I know micah's serving life that i grew up with that i used to play in the playgrounds with Bro. i just chose not to go to that park with them mm -hmm. i that time, went yeah. somewhere else i chose to do other things my mother was like street lights come on bring your black upstairs no. my dad was like i was more afraid of my dad's belt than anything so that kept me out of trouble when you young black men without fathers get into a lot more trouble right. a mother is different than a father right. a father will strike fear in your Mother, you could argue it. At a point, a boy, 13, 14 years old, mm. Ma, I could take you. Right. Nah, I got hair on my. Now, you can't take me. Holy Those shit. slaps don't work. Those belts don't hurt. What's, what's your craziest confession? I took my first plan B today. That's my confession. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you gonna say that on the mother confession? I don't give a damn. So it was a one night, it was a one night stand? No. When you met him? When I first came here. Oh, so a few days ago? Why? And you let him shoot up the club? No, I didn't. You did? I did it. You did? No, I did it. Right. He trying to, get... to make you the baby mother. Exactly. Who want to be an alpha mother? Exactly. Oh, so he tried to make you, a, you, the, you the baby mother? And you was... That's the only thing I could think of. That was crazy. Y'all nasty, bro. What the fuck is wrong with y'all nigga? Who? What is wrong with y'all nigga? Who? Why y'all do that? I'm saying, I'm not... <laughs> You're a damaged goods lady. So this is just weird on so many levels. So let me get this straight. The men you're dealing with are nasty, but yet you're dealing with them. Letting them dig, decimate, dismantle, and destroy your guts to the point where you gotta go take a plan B pill with a guy you met. Not a one night stand because it was past 24 hours that you knew him, but still you had that man up in there painting your walls to the point where you needed emergency contraceptive in order to solve the problem. Come on, go. What the? <laughs> when your wedding is over and it's time to pay the expenses. Warning, this is freaking disgusting. So get this, right? So you got unlimited cash rewards visa signature $6,430.84. You got an unlimited cash rewards visa signature, $16,044.51. You have a customized cash rewards visa signature, $14,276.85. And you only got $10.01 in your freaking bank account. This is how you're going to start off marriage? What, you spent nearly almost fifty grand on credit card debt. For your wedding. This is the dumbest way to start off your marriage. The dumbest way. Why black fathers are so important.
I almost interfered when he started crying but watch till the end. Guys, you always know I try my best to leave you on a positive note. Shout out to all the fathers out there who are raising strong young men. And good fathers know you're not going to always be there to fight your son's battles. So it's better that you show him and prepare him so that way he knows how to fight his own. And guys, don't forget you can always reach out to me by contacting me at the email address that's posted down below. See you right there if you got any clips that you would like to see me react to on this channel. And as always, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Always appreciate your feedback. If you've been watching the channel for some time now and you've been enjoying it, don't forget like and subscribe for more. And as always, until next time.